Hi, I'm Valentine's Day expert Professor Ricky Valentino, aka Dr. Love. Valentine's Day is a holiday in which we celebrate love, friendship and Simon Pegg's birthday. For many, Valentine's Day can be a pain in the ass. So today, I will be teaching you how to survive Valentine's Day. As we all know, Valentine's Day is the day that revolves mostly around couples. Now, we must admit that sometimes Cupid just fucks up. And thanks to that asshole, we have to fix the day ourselves. Part number one, finding what kind of person you are. By the way, that's a number sign, not a hashtag. In Valentine's Day, there are three kinds of people. The first ones are the desperate ones looking for a Valentine. Most of those attempts end up just sad. Second type is people that are alone on Valentine's Day and really can't do jack squat about it. And last but not least, the third type, the ones with a couple. Now you're the lucky bastards. Valentine's Day should roll around just fine for you. All of these are different, obviously, but they do have their ups and downs. Part number two, deciding what to do. Still not a hashtag. First off, the ones looking for a couple. Just because you're looking for a couple does not mean you're desperate. Most of you will try to get a date online, ask a friend of yours to hook you up with one of their friends, or simply go to a bar and try your luck. If you find a date, here's a small tip for you. Just be yourself. Don't try to get too cocky with your awesome pickup lines. Following with the people that are alone on Valentine's Day. Out of the group, you're probably the one that has it the worst. Because you see, for you, it's not a Valentine's Day, it's a Valentine's week. Luckily for you, this holiday has been commercialized just like every other holiday. For example, Halloween or Christmas. So you know what this means? Candy! You might feel lonely and in need of candy on Valentine's Day, but don't rush to the stores yet. After this holiday, most stores offer major discounts on Valentine's Day assorted candies, so you can substitute the loneliness in your heart with diabetes. I know it sounds rough, but someone out there truly cares for you. That person is on their way. For all you know, that person could be called Ruth and be a baby. Baby Ruth. And he could be rich, have a hundred grand. You could probably make out while he snickers a little bit. All romantic and stuff. A dove flies by. You get it. Now, couples. Valentine's Day for you is pretty much simple. If you've been together for some time, get him or her a small gift that they'll appreciate deeply. If you've been together for a longer time, it might be time to think about something a little bit bigger. Part number three. Taking action. For God's sake, if you read that as a hashtag, I've lost hope. Taking action could probably be the most difficult part for you, but it's necessary. Our team of experts have assembled some situations that might help you in things that might happen like this. Disclaimer, this might not be your situation, so we take no fucking responsibility of whatever you fuck up. Been together for a while now, and today's been perfect. But you know what? We'll top it up just great. Would you marry me? Oh my god, I thought you'll never ask. Oh my, god. oh my gosh, your breath stinks. Didn't you wash your mouth this morning? I'm sorry. Hey, hey babe. Are hey, you Medusa? Cause you get me so hard. Oh wait, I'm not a dude. Hey, are you a booger? Cause if you are, I'll pick you first. Hey baby, oh, yeah. is your dad a drug dealer? Cause you dope. Hey girl, I'm looking for treasure. Mind if I look in your chest? Sup, dude? Are you a Dementor? Cause you take my breath away! Hey, that one actually wasn't pretty bad. Not bad at all. J.K. Rowling approves. I don't know. Lately 
I've been feeling just so lonely. I don't even know where I belong or, or anything. It's happened to me before, but remember, I'm here for you if you need anything. Promise? Promise. Whoa, 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 hold up. Whoa, what happened? You just tried to jump over the line, you thirsty hoe. Whoa, whoa, jump over what line? So there you have it. This is just a small part on a huge ordeal on how to survive Valentine's. There are many more topics to be covered about the day of love. If you like this instructional video, don't forget to pre-order my DVD cassette, How to Survive Pregnancy as a Man. This was Professor Ricky Valentino, aka Dr. Love, in a Valentine's Day special. Have a... Hold up. I forgot. <laughs>